Okay, I want to do another aliquot problem because some of y'all had a problem on the midterm. So on page 45, I'm going to do problem number two. And if you read the problem, it says that you have a prescription balance that has a sensitivity requirement. So an SR is 0.006 grams. And it wants you to explain how you would weigh out. You need... 0.012 grams of atropine. And your error cannot be five, no more than 5%. And lactose is your diluent. So if y'all recall, your sensitivity requirement over your percent error, and I write this as a decimal to simplify, equals your minimum weighable quantity or your least weighable quantity, whatever you want to call it. And I have to write this in terms of milligrams. So this is six milligrams. Just move your decimal over one, two, three places, and this is 12 milligrams. So y'all should remember that you can't weigh 12 milligrams on your scale. So this is why we have got to take the time to make an aliquot. So I figure out my minimum weighable amount, the MWQ, so I take my sensitivity requirements, which is 6 milligrams, over the percent error written as a decimal, 0 0.05, and I find out that my MWQ is 120 milligrams. I cannot weigh less than 120 milligrams. So the way I like to figure out how I'm going to do this is I figure out my proportions, where D is my aliquot, which is that small portion of your larger mixture, which is going to contain C, which is the amount of atropine that you need. A is a larger amount of your drug, your atropine. And B is your lactose diluent plus A, whatever amount. So I set my aliquot needs to be set at either 120 milligrams or above. So I'm just going to, for ease of calculations, I'm going to set it at 120. We know that the C, the amount of atropine we need, is in our problem 12 milligrams. And I have to set A. The amount of lar the larger amount of drug atropine that I can weigh on my scales, I have to set it at something equal to or greater than my LWQ, MWQ. So I'm going to set it at 120. And then I'm going to solve for X, which is actually, I'm going to solve for B. And B, is remember, is actually going to be your diluent plus your drug. So when I solve for B, B is going to equal 1,200 milligrams. But remember now, B is a mixture of, it has 120 milligrams of drug in it. So I subtract the amount of drug, and I get 1,080 milligrams of diluent, which is my lactose. So now to explain how I would do this, I would weigh my drug, which is 120 milligrams, and I mix it with my lactose that I've weighed, 1,080 milligrams, and I have made a total of 
1,200 milligrams of mixture, which contains drug and lactose. So now I weigh out my aliquot, which is that small portion of this, which is going to contain the amount of drug I needed, which from up here, my aliquot is 120 milligrams. It's going to contain my 12 milligrams. And if I want to check to see if that's correct, I just prove it, which I'll do right here. If I weigh out 120 milligrams, mix it with 1,080 milligrams of lactose, then I have 12, 12, 120 excuse me, milligrams and 1,200 milligrams of mixture. So I'm going to have 12 milligrams in X. 120X equals 1,200 times 12. X equals 1,200 times 12 over 120. 10 times 12 equals 120, which proves that if I mix 120 milligrams of drug, which is an amount that I can weigh on my balance, in with 1,080 milligrams of lactose to make a total mixture of 1,200 milligrams. If I weigh out the 120 milligrams, I'm going to have 12 milligrams of drug, which is what I needed to start with. And that's how you do an aliquot.